Yeah, we just went and got gas at the gas station over here in Missouri. It's so much cheaper on the other side of the Mississippi River. I didn't bring Queenie with us today because, well, we went for a really long walk yesterday and she was pretty worn out. So I'm giving her a break today. Right, Salo? She's going to take a break today. Yeah. I did really good on conserving gas. I promised myself that I wasn't going to, that I wasn't going to fill up but once in February. And this is the 26th or 7th, I think. I don't even know what the date is. And uh, I still had just under a half a tank. So I figured I was going to make it. I was going to make it to the end of this month. And then, uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Oh man, so we went down this one path and uh, I said, hey, and the river's down kind of low. Really weird because I can never tell from one day to the next of what the river situation is going to be. But uh, yeah, we walked down here to take a look. We could walk over there under the bridge. That's our casino over there. The Alton Bell. All right, so we're going to take a walk down here, unless it's too muddy, because I don't want to get buried in the mud. And Silo's got her new little harness on. I, I remembered to put it on her. <laughs> I wonder what used to be here. It's a bunch of really thick rebar. Concrete and stuff and some sticking up out of the water over there. That's the lock, locks and dam off in the distance. And the trails up there. Well, we'll probably go back up to the trail pretty soon. Oh. oh, I see a big, another chunk of concrete with the rebar sticking all out of it. Hmm. Why can't I find something good like a treasure chest with a bunch of cash in it? <laughs> Darn. I wish I could have got this camera phone out faster. Because I swear I just saw a beaver swimming out there. Pretty cool. By the time I went to get my phone out, his head went under the water. I wonder if anybody still hunts them around here. I know they used to be trappers. Maybe I better leave this phone out. Instead of putting it away in my pocket. Let's see if we can find anything else. You guys aren't going to be able to see this on this camera, but I can see the beaver's head. He's swimming right out there. And this kind of looks weird here. I wonder if, if his home is under here. The water's going around it kind of funny. Whoa, he just, he just did a big splash. I wonder if he caught a fish. Wow. And there's my girl's footprints on the banks of the Mississippi, in the Mississippi mud. Yes! Whew. I 
think we might be able to walk around this whole island without going up on the trail. We can just walk all around this part. Right now, I don't know if I could get back up on the trail if I wanted to. I'd have to climb over all that mess. So, I looked down and I found one of these. Eh, that's lying to my microphone there. But, uh, I think in the old days they used to make buttons out of these. The inside is really shiny. I've seen them much bigger too. Oh, that's interesting. When I saw this off in the distance, I thought somebody had lost their kayak. But instead, it looks like it used to be a boy. Okay, onward we go. Hmm, I don't know what's around that curve there. We've kind of run out of bank. I might walk a little bit of a ways on that rock and see what's around the way. Otherwise, I think we're going to have to either try to get up to the trail or we're just going to have to turn around and go back the way we came. All right, we got up on the trail for a little bit and then kept on walking and now we're come, we've come out to this area and the only thing I can think that this is is so that you can hide behind here and watch any birds that are out there only right now, since the river's low, I guess, they're, they're way, way out there on the edge. But there is some out there. And there's another one of those red boys that I thought was a lost canoe. They do take canoe rides out here. Or not canoe, kayak. They have kayak certification out here. All right. I don't think I care to walk out there. And so I think we have to turn around and go back with the way we came. Right, Silo? We're not going down there. We have to go back the way we came. Yeah, I think I finally found a boat. Man, it is very windy today. I don't know if any of my audio is going to be any good. But yeah, there's a boat. I don't think I'll be going out there to get it, though. And anyway, I wanted a kayak. Well, look what I found. Wonder what is in there. Oh crap. And I wonder what those are the bones of. <sighs> Looks like it might have been a dog. I don't know. What? Well, you ready to go, huh? All right, let's keep going then. Whatever these are the tracks of, goes right out there to the water. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. I thought deer, but deer don't have feet like that. Hmm, could be beaver, muskrat, who knows. Oh crap. We're supposed to be way over there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to double back. 
because I don't know if we can make it to the road from here. So double back it is. All right, so we were way over there. And then when we, we decided to turn around, now we're almost, we're on the right track. And we're almost to the van. So this has been a really long, this has been a really long walk. And I, whew, my hips are hurting. I have bursitis in them. Every four months I'm supposed to go get a shot, but uh, I don't have insurance right now, so I can't afford to go get it done. Oh. So, love and peace, y'all. Thanks for watching my silly, boring videos. And, um, see y'all in the next one. That's my little, my little best friend. She's up for anything. Wouldn't trade her for a million bucks.